Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me on this um, free Zoom about business done different and the importance, in my point of view, to really be different in these very um, challenging times that this reality calls a depression or a recession. Um, <clears throat> I talked to a lot of people recently. Um, access facilitators report that, yeah, I mean, it's not really moving and it's not as it used to be and uh, you know numbers are going down and uh, and all of that and then you look at at all um the people working in big companies everywhere everywhere it seems to be that the business is going down everything was so expensive in europe interest rates went up um <clears throat> everything is expensive it's like this collective complaining about how difficult things are at the moment and people talking about the recession or even a, an economic depression as we had it in 1928 when the first big stock market um, crashed. And then we had another one after the war and then another one in the 80s. And then there was the big dot-com bubble in 2000. And then there was the Lehman Brothers collapse in 2008. And then there was COVID just three years ago. Now, guess what? It's another crisis. So what the fuck? It's just another crisis. And what? who are the people that are always winning in crisis? The creative ones. And that's what I want to have a conversation with all of you today. I know they talk about a depression and everybody says it won't be over as fast as COVID. It won't be over as fast as the dot-com bubble or the 2008 Lehman Brothers. And yes, it might take a three to five years until everybody, everyone is thriving again. But why do you want to be part of everyone? <laughs> why do you want to wait until everyone is fine again and then you'll be fine again? Um, I did a little research, okay, I, I googled, I read a lot of articles, what was actually going on in the big depression in 2028, and what people say will actually occur now, yeah, the big players in the market, you know, everything that was on autopilot suddenly stopped, and this is what causes this global stall, when do we talk about the depression, when 80% of the businesses out there align and agree that the business is going down. That's it. 80% of the big players out there came to the conclusion that now <clears throat> economy is going down and that everything will be difficult. And what occurs in these economic depressions? That some of the big players crash. 2008 was Lehman Brothers, you know, the big airline crisis in the in the early 90s, Pan Am went bankrupt. You know, it, it always starts with one of the big ones collapsing. And then everybody stalls and waits. But what is the true benefit of that? If you look at if you look at how the economy worked over the last 20 years, we had this conversation in the Maestro class in Rome right now, and Dane said, um, it seems like when you when when you come, uh, when you start a business as a super humanoid creative person, it's like playing Monopoly. <laughs> you you are super excited to start your business and then you want to go here, go, go there. So <laughs> instead of, oh, let's go here and buy this land and then build a house, you go there, oh, it's already taken. You go to the next spot, oh, someone else has built a hotel. Now you actually have to pay rent. So you are the one being super excited. And everywhere you go, you get this already taken, not possible, Go back in line, someone else has done it. Guess what? With a depression, that ends. Because all the big players are stalling. Nobody is actually creating because people, what do they do in a depression? They tend to wait. <clears throat> a depression means now it's time to function from possibility rather than autopilot. <clears throat> Over the last 20 years, the business was pretty much going on easy everything was possible for the big ones everything was constantly moving everything was constantly growing for the big ones for the big institutions for the big banks for the big developers for all the big ones there was no space for newcomers and this has changed now is the time for the humanoids for the creative ones 
to start looking at possibilities rather than autopilot. But what's, what does that mean? If you turn off the autopilot, you need to be present. <laughs> you need to be creative. <clears throat> and you cannot just sit back and relax and expect anything to be normal. So how many of you dream of that? I don't want autopilot. I don't want the same all the time. I am not normal. I'm so different. And now you have it. And now you would what? Complain? <laughs> Please look at this. Please look at this. this. Now is the time to do things different. Now is the time where the economy is finally out of autopilot. There have never been more opportunities and possibilities out there to start something new and to truly be different. And then there is this wonderful access class called Business Done Different. Can you imagine if all these big institutions suddenly found out, wait a minute, we can do it different. Now they have the power to try something different because the economy is down. Now they will be able to look at different things to do because autopilot is turned off. Nobody can do normal anymore. What would it take for all of you to recognize that now is the time for humanoid creative playground to open up possibilities that haven't existed before? When everyone's on autopilot, everyone is kind of swimming in their own comfort zone, kind of dragging along with, oh no, why would I change? Everything's fine. Why would I change? Everything's fine. Now we had this huge interruption, this earthquake, this tsunami of woof, nothing is, everything we knew, everything we did normal over the last 20 years suddenly stopped. I talked to my banker yesterday on the phone and she said, oh my God, it's so horrible. If the, if the European Central Bank does not lower interest anymore, they will not be able to finance any real estate over the next two years because people just can't afford the interest. That also means that all the, 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 the real estate development companies who are building apartments won't sell them. That also means that the whole bank um, division that does home loan financing won't have jobs. But what does that mean? Stall? Oh my God, complain? No. Now is the time to contact them. Now is the time to invite them to wait a minute. All of this is just so black. All of this is just so horrible. Stating what will be doesn't change anything. Can you imagine if those people had to access to the tools of business done different? I would say, fuck yes, let's get it out there. Now is the time to be different. And we have this incredible benefit of having, a, I don't know, 80 pages of different business tools where you can do and be different in business. The world was never more ready for something different than now. Now is the time, my dear friends, to thrive and to get started. So everything that holds you back, where you think, hmm, the depression is real, everything is going down, everywhere where you do not acknowledge and recognize the incredible opportunity for a different reality will you please destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, puff, puff, all nine shorts, boys, forwards, and beyonds. I see some faces here who keep constantly keep asking me, well, I would like to offer bars in business and I would do, like to do something with bars. Now is the time to do it. Now is the time to get out and go, hey, everyone's depressed. We are in a depression. What a gift would bars be for all those big companies, for all those people are concerned? That's just one out of 100 possibilities. And then if you look at what, what tools Business Done Different offers, Business Done Different doesn't look at what was wrong in the past. What possibilities are available now? What can we do and be different? Talking about adding certain energies to a, to a, to a business rather than filling in positions. Functioning from question, choice, possibility, contribution, rather than conclusion and analyzing. I, when I talk to companies, when and also here in Brazil, I am having a, um, <clears throat> it's called the Stress Relief and Burnout Prevention Congress, four days where we invite bars facilitators, business people, everybody who's interested in stress relief and burnout prevention to certain events um, that, that demand for something different was never as strong as today. 
everybody's literally lusting after change, lusting after different. And you, my dear friends, you are different. You have the tools to be different. Now is the time for you to get out there and offer what you know to the world. Because this is what is required. What can we do different? And what if we looked at the, what's right about that we're not getting? That would be a brilliant tool for everyone. What infinite possibilities are available we have never considered? Can you imagine a boardroom asking this question, going, wait a minute, why, why are we not looking at the possibility rather than the conclusion? So this is my personal point of view about what's going on right now. Um, and what if costs of living go up and your business goes down? What do you normally do? Do you start saving costs and cutting costs or do you turn up the income? Well, this reality will immediately go into we need to cut costs because our revenue goes down. I go, well, then create some additional revenue, some revenue we haven't even thought of yet, <clears throat> and make sure we have additional income to cover all the costs. That's a whole different concept. That's, that's a concept people probably have never heard of. For some of you, that might already be normal. If you go, oh, well, this is what we say in excess. Yes, <laughs> this is what we say in excess because we are already different. But now is the time to take this difference out to the world. And what I especially love about Business Done Different is a class with no prerequisites. So you could actually invite everyone to these possibilities or apply it to your own business, not buying the lies and limitations of this reality, not going into all this drama and trauma of, oh my God, we are in an economic depression. I would go, hell yeah, <laughs> let's use it to our advantage <clears throat> and let's create something different. And if you're going back to what, what people actually did in the, in the last big depressions, those who were creative, those who didn't buy into the lies that this is something bad, that now it's, we have to be prepared for, for, for difficult times, those started incredible new businesses. But how did they start this? They did something different. They did something different. And there are some brilliant examples from, from the big uh, depression in 1928. There was a, a furniture store that said, wait a minute, if everybody, um, if people have no money, if, if people have less money to spend, when, then we need to look at how we sell our furniture and our um, <clears throat> our our goods in our store before the big depression it was a personal service you went to a counter you told the person in in the store what do you want and they went and got it this is how the first department store got developed in the u.s they said no um it's depression you want to pay less well then pick it yourself and just take it to the cash desk this is what this is an awareness they got out of it and now it's absolutely normal to have department stores that was that idea got in, in the United States got born out of the depression because people just couldn't pay so many employees as they had before. They had to make it easier. The same in the car industry, Ford. They had all these big, expensive cars. You know, everybody was rich and everybody wanted beautiful. They immediately got, wait a minute, something's changing. People will still need to drive from A to B, especially in the United States. So what did they do? They just produced more cheaper cars, affordable cars, but not as a long-term solution. No, this is what's required now until the depression is over and then we can go back and produce the luxury cars. So those companies and those people who saw the opportunity in the depression and were willing to do something different, those started to thrive and never sense the depression. So are you willing to be that? Are you willing to be the phoenix who rises while everybody else is drowning? And what if it wasn't your job to save everyone? What if this was your possibility to invite everyone, not saving them? And that's what I see business done different as. The invitation to do something different, to be different with your business, in your business, the way you promote, the way you deal with your employees, the way you do your marketing, the way you organize your business. There are so many 
beautiful tools that you all can share um, <clears throat> that will not only contribute to your own business, but it will also invite you to expand your current business to areas you've probably never thought of, to a new clientele you have never probably thought of. Now, the level of lust for difference <laughs> is incredibly high. This reality, will we'll, we'll call it problems. But what is a problem? What's the de definition of a problem? Well, a problem is just a situation that requires change. And what are the tools of access consciousness all about? About change. So from my point of view, with the tools we have and with the, with, with the way... Um, <clears throat> access looks at life this is what's required right now and the demand was never higher um that's my point of view this is how i started looking at my business and yes uh, it does change all the time um, but it doesn't mean it will go down it means okay something needs to change here we have to do things slightly different in one or the other area which is just a change but not a problem so this is what I actually wanted to share with you because the energy out there is just so intense. Oh my God, the big depression. What if it what what if it was a hallelujah? Finally, finally, it's humanoid time in business. Be that and watch out world. Um what will be required of you. The minute this reality finds out there are different possibilities they will come and take a look. Not everybody will choose it and not everybody has to choose it. But my point of view is everybody should at least know that it exists. And if you start being that different with your own business, no matter what business that is, you can be a doctor, an accountant, an access facilitator, I don't know, sell rabbits, <laughs> whatever you do in every area of life, in an economic depression, people will tell you, you have to cut costs, things are not easy. But what if that wasn't a problem? What if cutting costs was a lie? And what if it won't be easy? Is also just a situation that's required change. You could invite everybody who has the point of view, oh my God, the future will be so difficult. So look into the tool, wait a minute, your point of view creates your reality. What if you looked at the gift of what we have? of the gift of you, of the uniqueness of you? And what if you used what other people call a problem to your advantage to take your business to a level and area it has never been before? These are the questions and these are the tools that are all part of the, of the Business Done Different class. Brilliant, amazing. I still remember my very first evening taster of uh, Business Done Different eight years ago in Stockholm. And I just asked Simone Milasas one question about how to deal with employees. And woof, since that day, everything changed. Since that day, I allow myself to travel everywhere I want to. I run my whole law firm remotely from my phone and my laptop. Um, and I have employees who truly have my back. What tool did I use? Delegate. And when you need someone to delegate to, ask for someone who is better than you in that specific area. And dad was like, fuck. I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. Me, a control freak of magnitude, will I ever delegate truly to someone? Yes, if I know that they are better than me. Because then I will go, oh my God, finally, someone better than me takes care of it. I did it with my accounting. I did it with the with the lady who pre prepares the contracts, the drafts. I did it with the lady who files the who files everything with the land register and the company register. You have to be so organized and so OCD because everything has to be correct from A to Z. And I'm horrible. <laughs> I make typos and I just get so bored when I have to. I, I can't go through an eighty page contract uh, checking if all the numbers are correct. I was like, fuck, torture someone else. I was like, you know what? If it comes back, um, who cares? I'll correct it later. But now as I al allowed myself to hire someone to do that, who is so OCD with this detail that no contract, no letter, no email would ever leave her desk without being controlled from A to Z and corrected. Brilliant. So 
it was just one out of I don't know how many tools we have in BDD um, <laughs> that totally changed the way I work. For me, it was brilliant. Um, and we have a few questions here in the chat. I see. Wow, great! I want, but I failed to delegate. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you fail to delegate when you delegate okay you have to be willing to fail but you also have to follow your knowing so there's a whole section of you know when you interview people in the pdd manual you just don't come to the conclusion okay this person is better let's delegate there's a beautiful procedure on what question you can ask a person to find out what they really are and will deliver because when someone comes to a job interview or wants to work with you, they will say yes to fucking everything because they want the job. Didn't you do that too? Oh my God, when I, when I, when I did my Erasmus uh, program in Paris as a, as a student, I needed a job to pay my rent there. So I hired as a, as a waiter. I've never worked as a waiter. And then I faked a CV with all the restaurants I worked as a waiter, blah, blah, blah. Everybody does it to get a job. I was desperate for money. I needed that job. And I got it. Was it fun? No. Because I had no fucking clue how to deal all with this. But hey, I'm still alive. I, I learned my lessons. I paid my dues. And now I'm here. So it's not wrong that people will tell say yes to everything when they want the job. But you can be aware when that yes doesn't match the energy. And you can also give people choice. So you make sure you hire someone who is absolutely on top of what you need them to do, who is passionate about what the job you can do. And these are, these are brilliant tools that I use in my, in my, in my daily work. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to delegate, please uh, get the Joy of Business book or come to one of my BDD classes. <laughs> And then you can ask a question there. Um, brilliant chapter about dealing with stuff and hiring stuff and making deals and delivers. So <clears throat> that's part of that journey and that beauty and that invitation of, of, of business done different that I see. And for now, I think, wow, the world has never been more in demand of something different. So please get out there, <laughs> show yourself to the world. Don't wait. Now is the time. Now more than ever is the time for all of you. And if it's just bars, can you imagine all these stressed people getting a bar session? The world would be a way more relaxed place if more people had access to these beautiful access bar sessions. So that's my point of view. That's why I'm here in Sao Paulo right now with my stress relief and burnout prevention congress. Um, and if you want more of that, or if you want to dive into all the other tools that are available in Business Done Different, we have a class coming up online. And now I need Laura again to help me out with the dates. I think it's in December. Um, <laughs> it's the for about class is, hold on, I just need to get back onto the page. Um, it is in December, right? Uh, the podcast in December is no, the BDD, the BDD oh, yes. club. Um, I think it's December 7, 8, 9, 10, or something like it's that. You can check it it's the 7th 7, 7, 8, 8. Yeah, 7th yeah. to the 10th, exactly. Yes. Yes. Um, if you want to explore possibilities beyond, you know, taking or using the worldwide depression <laughs> to your advantage and how to be different not only be different but let the world know that you are different and then be available that has also a lot to do with receiving you know taking your business out there and what i also love about this is because now um people only tend to take action in emergency situations and if you look at how many emergency situations businesses have at the moment restructuring laying off staff doing all that stuff what a gift, what a gift the tools of business done different could be to these companies. So if that is of any interest of any one of you, please join and then let's have some fun. Does anyone on here have questions? Have you done a BDD class yet? 
Or do you want to know anything? Well, if you want to know more, if you might have questions later on, <laughs> not yet. <clears throat> oh, now the messages are popping in. What can I ask when I feel my business is stopping? That, what can I do and be different to make money right away? What can I do and be different with my business to turn it up right away? Now's the time to do things different. And there are so many ways to do things different. What can I add to my business I have never thought of? What can I do different with the current business? What else is possible with my clients? What else is possible with my products? All of that. There are unlimited amounts of questions you can ask. Um, <clears throat> the most important thing is be that enthusiasm for creating the business. If you have that general point of view, my business is going down, you, you all know the tool, your point of view creates your reality. If you have the point of view, oh, my business is going down, my business is stopping, your business can only stop and can only go down because you have the point of view. And that's the essential part. You have to change the way you think, the way you be, your point of view about the business. Change that into something creative and enthusiastic. And you don't have to go walk around like, oh, everything's fine. No, there is a depression out there and a lot of people are struggling. But only just because everybody else is struggling doesn't mean you have to struggle. You can ask, how can I use this worldwide struggle to my advantage? How can I use the worldwide depression to my advantage? Where do you need to be? Where do you need to go? What do you need to do? To whom do I need to talk? To change and create more revenue right away. <clears throat> and then be that point of view. Be that what's next, what next, what next, what next. Be that point of view, wow, I'm aware of what's going on, but that doesn't mean anything can stop me. I'm unstoppable. And I'll thrive through this no matter what. If that is your point of view, world, watch out. <laughs> Where do we begin the creation of business? Well, you already eyed with that question. And where do you begin? Find something that's fun for you, where you are enthusiastic about. When you start a business, don't go, what will make me the most money? Go, what is truly fun for me? What do I enjoy doing and being? And how can I turn this into an income stream? That's the question to ask. <clears throat> and Tony is asking what topics are in the class. The topics in the class are from the mindset of business done different, the things I just talked about, your point of view creates your reality. You know, all the lies and limitations you bought, we, we're going to clear all of that. You have to work hard. It takes seven years to be profitable. And, you know, all these standard lies and rules of, of this reality, how difficult it is with the business, we need to clear that up. And half that point of view is, wow. I am my business, my business is me, and we are so creative, we will outcreate no matter what, no matter whom. That, that tr you know, train yourself to have a point of view that always creates more. But not only that, we will talk about the financial awareness about your business and how you calculate your profit, how to add, um, how to delegate and add employees or co-creators you don't have to have employees you can always have contractors you know you don't have to do everything alone we will talk about the marketing how can you make sure the um the world knows you exist so literally every topic we will have a, a conversation about taxes not avoiding them being creative with your accounting and doing creative accounting rather than avoiding taxes that's one of my favorite topics in the bdd um <clears throat> And of course, everything you want to talk about. I love it when people who already have a business or have a business idea bring their, you know, then we do a case study. <laughs> and as this class is like over four uh, days, um, it's beautiful to kind of keep that going and have, a, have an example. 
Um, I love bringing examples from real life. I've started many businesses. I've closed many businesses. I've seen many businesses thriving, failing. I've myself made choices in some of my businesses where I said, oh my God, not the smartest. So that's that's my favorite in the business done different class to have some case studies of someone who is in the course of starting it, changing it, expanding it or whatever, or adding a business. You know, this class is not only for people who have a business. I have a lot of people coming to the class who are a corporate employee, but they are not really happy with it. And a lot of people think, oh, I will just give up that job and then start something new. Mm. My advice, why don't you add something <laughs> for now? And as soon as you make at least twice as much money with that new business as you make with the old one, then think about leaving the old one alone. Because I would never give up an income stream. I would rather use the tool to make the boring office job fun. And even there, you have tools available where you can manipulate or be change the energy with whomever you work with to actually have fun. What tool can I use to have fun with it? What tool can I use to have ease with this? So there's a lot of areas where these tools beautifully work. <clears throat> um, I have ideas to create, but when following it and asking questions, it doesn't seem to show up. Any suggestion? <laughs> well, when you have ideas and then you follow it and asking questions, in order to create a business, choice creates. Have the idea, institute the idea, and then instead of following it, ask what do I need to do and be different to make it work. So use the tools to make it work and not to observe how it doesn't work. Because the universe won't do the work for you, okay? You can put an ask out day and night. You're the one taking the action. <laughs> so institute it. And if it doesn't work, stop observing it. Take action again. What can I do and be different here? Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, next. Okay, next. Okay, next. Be present with it and keep going. Just keep going. And, and another great tool from business done different or great awareness i got out of these classes we you know the saying rome wasn't built in a day and yes miracles happen overnight it's a combination of all of that but if you look at your business do you want to create a long-term sustainable business that business do you still want to run it in 15 years from now 20 30 years when i started my law firm i knew i want to have that for the next 50 years when I started my access facilitation business, I want to facilitate in 30 years from now. So I don't really care about these tiny little ups and downs on the way there. I have 30 more years to fucking create. Why would I care about a tiny little dip today that might be over tomorrow? So that's also part of that business done different point of view, the business done different mindset that I think the whole first chapter of the manual is dedicated to, to that. Okay, your point of view creates reality. What do you want in life? What are you living for? Um, and then let's see how your ideas will pop up like popcorn. You know how the popcorns are. One pops and then the next, 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 next. That's how you become unstoppable. But you just need to pop that first popcorn, okay? You have to make that first choice. And only you can do that. I won't be able to do it for you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Um, I'm getting super excited about this class. I can't wait to see you, maybe all of you, maybe a few of you online. We do have languages. Um, if you want to find out more, just uh, write an email um, to whatever contact is on the website. <laughs> These are the details I normally delegate. <laughs> and then join us for Business Done Different or any other class that you desire or that pings for you. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Good night. Good afternoon. Good evening. See you next time. Bye-bye.